Hello, I'm Gordon Richard with Cole Morgan and this is Two Minutes of Motion. Web applications and in-feed applications rely on nip rollers to transfer material. Nip rollers allow the material to be pinched between two rolls similar to an old ringer washer. It is fairly straightforward to set up nip rollers. The gear ratio is set the same way as previous mechanism types and will more than likely consist of a gear head. The ratio is entered as motor turns to load turns. For our example, we have a ratio of 7.5 to 1. Since the motor turns and load turns must be integers, we will enter this as motor 75 and load 10. At this point, we want to set up the units in which we plan to work. Our application will be for a roller in millimeters so custom position units will be set accordingly. A nip roller is made up of two rollers between which the material is pinched. The roller connected to the motor is the driven roll and the second roll is the idler roll. To understand how the material will be fed by the motor we are only concerned with the dimensions of the driven roll. Our example is for a roller that has a diameter of 79.5775 millimeters. This will equal a circumference of 250 millimeters. Our position units will be set to custom mechanics dependent. Then our motion task will reflect millimeters and would be based on the linear distance of the material being fed. Because the material being fed is based on the driven roll, we can use the modulo in the drive to ensure that the position is reset after a predetermined distance to ensure that there is no accumulative error. But that is another segment. I'm Gordon Ritchie for Two Minutes Motion. I hope you join me in our next segment.